Welcome to the Challenge Show, folks. <clears throat> Today, we're going to be working on the Kubota here. Um, I got a few things that I might be doing to it, but the most important thing is a little bit of a controversial thing. It's actually raining right now, and it don't look that hot, but it's about 100 degrees with a heat index of like 1.4 well, million. It's harder than crap. I got my Daisy Dukes on. <clears throat> Big thing about this tractor that I hate about this tractor is... Um, it's a hot operator seat so i have no canopy which that might be coming here soon but right here where the hydrostatic is i have no um cruise control or nothing so i have to hold the hydrostatic down well if you look on this side you know but see that heat shield right there there is not one over here there's a lot going on you've got the front end loader hydraulics you've got the hydraulic line for the backhoe attachment or the rear remotes whatever i guess it's backhoe attachment <clears throat> and then you got a hydraulic line for the third function up here you have your fuel filter and water separator out there you have your left and right brake and then your hydrostatic and you even have a coolant line right there so there's a lot going on and there's a that's probably why they didn't put one in but all that heat comes back and it actually has melted these boots these are Ariots. they're not that cheap and it's melted the boot sole from here all the way back to here uh, and i've glued it on that's why it's there right now <clears throat> i actually tried going in shorts one day and i had my tennis shoes on shorts on and about an hour and a half into bush hogging um the sole actually fell off of my shoe my leg right here will get and the top of my foot will get will get beat red from being hot for that uh length of time and then it itches so bad i'll actually scratch my leg to the point where i bleed so this is an absolute screw up on kubota's part um <clears throat> so i'm going to take some cardboard and i'm try gonna try to build a plate in there and if i can get it cut out in cardboard then i got some steel over here i'll start cutting it out and then we'll try to mount it to the tractor some way so that's what we're doing today so all right so what i've got here is a big chunk of cardboard and i'm gonna start just whittling it down Till I can get what I need out of it. Not really sure how this is gonna go in and out once I do get it built, or if I'm gonna have to bend it around some of this stuff. Exactly how it's gonna work. So yeah, something like that. <clears throat> All right. So right there, it's cut around the hoses for the most part. I'm not sure how far I'm gonna push it back in there, depending on how much I need to cut out of that. But I think something of that nature. I don't see. I mean, I need to cut more of that out, but. <clears throat> Look at that. All that heat would be diverted. Or most of that heat at least. So now what? Make it out of metal. Make it out of plastic. It gets super hot. So I think metal's the way to go. I'm gonna have to buy some weather seal. Weather stripping to keep it from chafing on everything. All right, so what I'm doing here is I started down here, or started right here. I'm, I'm imagining if I cut it and bend it, cut it, bend it, cut it, bend it. And I'm going around all these marks to see if I even roughly have enough to do this there job. And I'm not even sure if this is how I'm going to do this. Alright, so the, the next question is, is, now that I'm pretty sure I have enough steel here, what to use instead of cardboard? Cardboard's probably not going to hold up cardboard um 
I could use plexiglass or Lexan or something of that nature. Could probably do fine and I could see through it. I like that concept. I really don't want to go spend the money on it. That stuff's pretty expensive. I don't want to go spend the money on it on the concept. So I think I have some of this. I think it's called Luon. And I'm going to... My flag has fallen. Sorry, my American flag had fell down for some reason. Alright, so um, so I think I'm going to use, I think it's called Luon plywood just for the concept and if it holds back I'm gonna bush hog with it I got a bush hogging job to go do if it holds everything back and my foot does not get hot then I'll go ahead and pull this back out and do it in plexiglass I think is what I would like to use so you can see through it so that way if you get something stuck up in here or you're, you're just trying to see around your front end you can hopefully you can hopefully you can even see me put plexiglass in its place so that way I can see through it. It's more of a concept thing right now, a concept build, and if that's the case, if it works, then I'm good to go. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to cut this out. Actually, I think I'm gonna make this frame for it first. So that way, once I have the frame cut out, I can make sure the frame fits and see if I can't get it to uh, take the shape of this cardboard. All right, so let's try this again. So I'm gonna cut this V, <clears throat> make sure it fits that. If it does, tap it. First, I need to put a tack on this one. Yeah, I was having technical difficulties there. Bought a little more to go. Alright, so as you see what I'm doing here, I'm laying the cardboard down behind it where I can just see it roughly and then making a mark, cutting a 45, make a mark, cut a 45. So, right there she be. And now I'm going to make a mark right here, make a mark right there, and then bend it up, so on and so on. Work my way up to about this crease right here because that's where. Um, that's why it's going to get confusing whether it'll fit or not. So I'm going to put you on time lapse while I get this done.
follows it. So we're gonna go cool this off. It's not a structural thing, but we're gonna go cool this off and uh, see if we can't slide it in there somehow. Let it dog. We've been swimming in a pond. All right, so I got my piece here. So this is be the first straight try. Trying to imagine if there's a piece of wood in there. Uh, that looks like something there, I'll tell you what. I think I need to hack just a little bit of this off on the end here, so let's do that. Second house. All right, this stuff I'm talking about cutting it out of, so now I'm just gonna set it on there and trace it out. That should be roughly my template. Sometimes we don't have a clean shop. Shoe. Well, let's see. Nope. So, that ain't gonna work. So, I need to cut this chunk off. Pull some tab and screw that thing cut. All right, so what I'm thinking here is uh, <clears throat> it's gonna inlay into it as so. So I'm just gonna get some little washers and then screw or weld them onto here and then put a little tack screw in it. So let's go find some washers. I figured out what I've done. Now, before y'all give me crap about this, just remember, I've got like 17 bucks in this whole thing. I bought this piece of metal, that's it. I didn't pay a dime for the cardboard, and this was left over. Washers that kid or something, I don't know. I always say that stuff. I know it might be ugly, but it's a concept. If I get this on and the thing starts working, or it doesn't melt my foot anymore, then I know that this is gonna work. <clears throat> then I can reshape, grind this down, smooth it up, paint it, make sure it's good and straight. And then I actually wanna put plexiglass in that. But I think if a man were to clean this up and paint it 
and use plexiglass, maybe put a few more washers in it. I believe that would look halfway decent in there. So now we need to worry about how to get this thing mounted. All right, here's what I'm thinking. So you got the post in there, trying to let this cool off. And I'm thinking if I can get this somewhere on it, I can weld a bracket onto this over to this big magnet and stick it on there. That's what I'm saying. All right, so I've got a little bit of a hiccup here. Uh, it goes in this way and it's such a tight fit, it hits really hard here. So I have to take these off and reverse it. All right, so I got these switched around. So that way it's uh, on the back side now. So my next step is uh, mounting, that, uh, mounting the magnet and I'm gonna mount it right here, but I gotta step it off of it so it gets a good bot on that loader tower. So I'm gonna cut this down and weld that right there. I'm gonna put the magnet out here and that should should have it uh, about ready to slap on. All right, so <clears throat> I've got it in there. It looks like it's blocking everything. I welded that little piece of angle, and now I have the um, somewhere. Oh, the magnet. So I'm just gonna get a uh, bolt and a nut, and bolt it to that piece of angle, and then slide it all forward. And I think that'll be it for now. Long and behold, the first prototype. Let's see if we can get it in the hole. Now that I got it bolted together, I probably can't fit it in here. I don't think it's gonna come out too awful often. Too much. Look at that, it clicked right into place, come on. There it is, folks. That is the, uh, the Kubota Heat Stopper 4000. 3901 Kubota screw up fixer 2000. The heat stopper 2000. Got that installed. It's pretty, it seems to be pretty uh stiff. I mean, those are strong magnets, big earth magnets. I can adjust it around, but how did, as hard as it is to get in and out, I don't believe that it's gonna go anywhere. If it were to pop off, I could probably just kick it back up there with my foot and the magnet will grab again. But uh, it's out of the way, way of the brake pedal. If I hit them hard enough, which I don't use the brake pedal, like ever. I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll go test it out, which it's looking like I probably won't test it out today because it's uh, raining on and off and really don't want to drag this thing across town to do this job and then it uh, it come a, a raining on me. So yeah, I appreciate y'all watching the Chelton Show and for updates, stay tuned. And God bless. I'll catch you on the next one.